हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज़ निखिल सिंह चाड़क एंड आई एम वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन स्कूल ऑफ वोकेशन स्टडीज़ अंबेडकर यूनिवर्सिटी दिल्ली टुडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द टॉपिक दैट इज रोल ऑफ मीडिया एंड इट्स टाइप्स द सब टॉपिक्स व्हिच आई विल बी कवरिंग अंडर द सेम आर इंट्रोडक्शन मीडिया एंड इट्स टाइप्स मीडिया इम्प्लीकेशंस कंक्लूजन एंड सम अप सो वी वुड बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द वेरियस ऑस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ मीडिया एंड इट्स इम्पैक्ट ऑन ओवरऑल कल्चर एंड टूरिज्म After studying this particular lesson you will be able to describe the various forms of media list the role of media with special reference to culture explain the place of media in promoting cultural tourism so all these points we would be discussing in our schedule today introduction we are living in the age where telecommunication is gradually bringing the world together it is not that distances have been reduced rather than speed of communication has made it possible to interact with other parts of the world in all possible ways in this age of telecommunication revolution it becomes important to understand the role of media it is very very difficult to assign a fixed role to media as it is seen from different perspectives by different people associated with culture and tourism media itself has also its own perception about its role in the course of our discussion in the unit we would be examining all these various perceptions tourism both as a phenomenon as well as an industry also heavily depends on media we will examine the role of media in shaping people's attitude towards culture and cultural tourism so let us start with various types of media and so on the media consists of several different types of communications of mass media television radio cinema newspapers magazines and internet based websites or portals you can say indian media was also active since late 18th century to be precise The print media started in India as early as 1780. Radio broadcasting began in 1927. Indian media is among the oldest in the world. Indian media is amongst the most popular form of media if you talk about globally. Many of the media are controlled by large non-profit corporations which reap revenue from advertising, subscriptions and sale of copyrighted material. As of 31st March 2020 18 there were over 1 lakh publications registered with the registrar of newspaper of India. India has the second largest newspaper market in the world with daily newspapers reporting a combined circulation of over 240 million copies. India has over 1600 satellite channels more than 400 news channels and it is the biggest newspaper market in the world over 100 million copies sold each day. Press Council of India Press Council of India acts as a mechanism for the press to regulate itself it ensures that the indian press is free and responsible if the press is to function effectively as the watchdog of public interests it must have a secure freedom of expression unhindered by an any authority organized bodies or individuals it ensures that the press must therefore seriously adhere to the accepted norms of journalistic ethics and maintain high standards of professional conduct where the norms are breached and the freedom is defiled by unprofessional conduct a way must exist to check and control it but control by the government or official authorities may prove destructive of this freedom therefore the best way is to let the pairs of the progression or the profession assisted by a few discerning laymen to regulate its through a property or the properly structured representative impartial machinery hence the press council of india was established to control overall all these activities media and its types the technology of mo modern mass media or communication results from the confluence of many types of inventions and discoveries some of which the printing press for instance actually preceded the main thrust of the individual revolution in western culture technological things of the 19th and 20th century has been responsible for the development of the new means of mass communication particularly broadcasting without which the present near global diffusion of printed words pictures and sounds would have been possible the same printing press radio motion pictures televisions and various methods of sound recording as well as systems of mass production and distribution gave communication a mass base technology was not however the only prerequisite of the development of mass communication in the west a large public of literate citizens was necessary before giant publishing and newspaper empire might 
extend communication technology to satisfy widespread desires or needs of popular reading materials. Affluence and interest are prerequisites for the maintenance of radio, television, cinema and recording industry as well as institutions that are presently mostly highly developed in wealthy industry nations. The telecommunication revolution, satellites and computer networks in last two to three decades have completely changed the nature of mass communication. Now the influence of a particularly media is not restricted to a region or nation, it goes beyond the boundaries of nations and opinions that can be made and mobilized globally. Media is a vast area and a number of methods of communication are adopted through the media in the field of culture and tourism. They can broadly be divided into two categories, the material developed for the specific purpose by the government, industry or individuals in relation to culture and tourism. Mass media which is some way or the other represent culture. Mass media. Mass media refers to a diverse array of media technologies that reach a large audience by mass communication. So there are many modes of communication with the help of mass media. The technologies through which this communication takes place include a variety of outlets, print which includes newspapers, magazines and journals, radio, again a very very important source of communication and how radio is doing a great job in promoting the culture and tourism and the television and films. Print media. The first newspaper printed in India was Case Bengal Gazette started in 1780 under the British Raj by James Augustus. He key and other newspapers such as the India Gazette, the Calcutta Gazette, the Madras Courier 1785 and the Bombay Herald 1789 soon followed. These newspapers carried news of the areas under the British rule. The Bombay Samachar founded in 1822 and the printed in Gujarati is the oldest newspaper in Asia still in print. On 30th May 1826, Udant Martan, the Rising Sun, the first Hindi language newspaper published in India, started from Calcutta, now Kolkata, published every Tuesday by Jugal Kishore Shukla. The prominent English newspaper are the Times of India, founded in 1838 as the Bombay Times and Journal of Commerce by Bennett, Coleman and Company Limited. A colonial enterprise now owned by an Indian, the Times Group. The Hindustan Times was founded in 1924 during the Indian independence movement, Hindustan being the historical name of India. It is published by HT Media Limited. The Hindu was founded in 1878 by a group of known as the Triplicane Six consisting of four, lane, four law students and two teachers in Madras, now Chennai. It is now owned by the Hindu group. Print. A large number of daily newspapers in English, Hindi and other languages are published in India. A greater number of periodicals are also brought. Most of these are owned by private companies or individuals. A few are taken out by political parties or governments. It influences more among literate sections. Radio. Radio in India is a completely government owned mass media and covers more than 90% of population and area. So that thus it is creating a huge impact and it has a huge role to play in terms of bringing all the cultures together in India. Television and films. Television in India is largely governed by the government. Now a number of private channels are also operating. In terms of reach, government owned televisions, Doodarshan has a very wide reach, while private channels has a limited reach. Films are mostly made by private companies or individuals. Sometimes government also sponsor films on some specific issues or aspects. Beside films, made on specific aspects of culture in the mainstream cinema through mainly devoted to entertainment also influences culture in a big way. Thus the films which have been made these days I mean by the government of India clearly has a huge role to play in terms of impact on the Indian culture. Media are not entirely free to follow their own whims in serving the masses. As is the case of any market, consumer satisfaction limits the nature and quantity of the material produced and circulated. Media is also restricted in some measure by laws governing libel, slander and other regulations. In almost every modern nation, privileges to use broadcasting frequencies are circumscribed, either loosely or rigidly by the government regulations. It is because media is viewed as a machinery which could contribute a lot in determining the public opinion about any issue. Media and its implications. 
lively controversies centers on the effects of public communication upon audience not only in matters concerning public opinion on political issues but in matters of the development of personal lifestyles tastes and influences upon consumer behavior so media is you can say clearly impacting the overall consumer behavior in terms of their lifestyles in terms of how they purchase and all those things many sociologists follow the theory that media seems to have influenced attitudes and behavior only in so far as it confirms the status quo and or that is other believe that media provided potent sources of information and persuasion for most people it can be accepted that most people in technological societies form their personal views of the social realities beyond their immediate experience from messages presented to them through public communication it is in this context that media becomes an important you can say instrument in de determination of the public opinion also the success of mass media has an instrument of commercial advertising has been constant and noticeable present evidence indicates that various instruments of media produce var varying effects upon different segments of the audience thus it is impacting the overall behavior of the people or the consumers in one or other way the case of media and tourism is a bit different as it is expected by audience that in reporting the development of the nation or region media will play a neutral role it is expected and most people believe that media will present the free and correct picture of socio political conditions of a region thus media is a very important tool towards promoting or portraying the real cultural image of a particular destination it cannot be influenced by the economic or commercial interest most reliable surveys shows that the majority of the people of the world are usually satisfied with the kind of the mass communication available to them lacking alternatives to the communication that they easily and conveniently receive most people seem to have accept that they are given without complaint it is perhaps that they believe in media usually media being independent of government is expected to be impartial in attitude towards depicting or showing whatever they are showing in terms of promoting indian culture tourism and the socio cultural aspects it is expected of media to preserve this image the positive image of india the brand india media is expected to promote the beneficial image of the society not only not only the dark glooming side in the field of culture the role of media is very crucial in a society like india in democratic society media is not a singular thing there are different stands in the society similar different people view it differently and have their own expectations from it so people have different expectations and and the perception of people in terms of the media whatever they are showing would vary from culture to culture in the field of culture and tourism let us discuss the expectations of the government the tourism industry the activity activist the tourist and the general public the government expects that media will propagate its policies and help in their implementation the industry expects the media to help in the promotion of tourism as per their perception the activities or the activist want media to help in their fight against the commercialization of culture which the industry or government is unable to check they expect media to take position against formulation of wrong policies and facilitate implementation of sound policies the conservation of culture is the main agenda of the act of the activist and they expect the media to support them in their cause so the government has a huge huge role to play in terms of depicting the positive side of indian culture amongst the people of india the tourists expect that media should provide them a balanced picture of the things which interest them as also the complete information with a proper review thus that is why we can say that the social media or the media plays a very very important role in terms of promoting the tourism in terms of letting the people know about our indian culture the general public also expects the media to inform to review and to expose the vested interest either in industry or the various government policies so government needs to frame certain policies which should be positive towards our indian culture thus promoting indian culture and tourism in a positive manner as already indicated that media in india is not of a single type different media have their own perception about their roles and responsibilities there are many type 
many times governed by attitudes and interest of their consumers or clients. So it is impacting the consumer behavior again. They have to see their commercial interests, circulation, advertising revenue, keeping in the view the interests of media and different expectations from it, one can study the role of media which is expected in so many ways. Role of media. One could identify five main functions of media or mass communication. Firstly, it, in, it involves collecting, shifting, processing information and its dissemination to enable the recipient to form judgment and opinions which is an integral part of the democratic process. Secondly, media serves to interpret data, persuade and motivate people. This function is inseparably related to the process of socio-economic development and the organization of community activities for the pursuit of common objectives. In this particular context, it, is, it must be emphasized that information is not merely the raw material or the news. It is much more. It is beyond that the raw material and the news. So the right information should be communicated to the people. It provides a material base of knowledge of diverse societies and places. Hence, information, motivation, interpretation and persuasion are the important functions of the communication. Because media has a very important role in all these activities. Thirdly, media is concerned with education and transmission of the social realities in historical perspective, we can say. The fourth function of media in so socialization, it facilitates the involvement of people individually and collectively in public life, decision making and active participation in problem solving activities as an integral part of the democracy and public life. Finally, leisure and entertainment are also functions of communication. This is where its relation to the creative arts comes in. It helps foster culture not only in tune with the diversity but also with the objectives of making it a condition of better quality of life for the vast population. In case of tourism, media plays a crucial role as it promotes the dialogue between different cultures and thus leads to better understanding of other cultures as well. Media also provides a platform for exchange of ideas to general public and various other agencies involved in the sphere of culture in diverse ways. So that is why there is a very important correlation between culture, tourism and media. You would notice that many times the expectations are met but at times there is a gap. Let us understand this process. As far as dissemination of information is concerned, it is by and large fulfilled by the media. When it comes to review or analysis, a number of subjective elements creep in. Here are the constraints of individual perceptions. I mean the perceptions of the people in terms of whatever they have been portrayed by the media. Whether you talk about the common interest of the newspaper by the people, the advertisements and so on. The state-owned media is another problem of standing by government policies, even though individuals in societies might have reservations about them. In general, media tries to maintain a balance between their commercial interests and societal responsibilities. That is a very important part. The activists feel that the commercialization is gradually gaining an upper hand in media. They have therefore initiated public awareness and public interest campaign to counter harmful influence on society. Example of campaigns against pollution and drugs, maintaining environmental balance, need for conserving heritage, etc. are significant in this direction. Hence, media also plays a very important role of portraying a positive side of our Indian culture. Conclusion Today, India is on the verge of becoming a powerful nation and we have witnessed the efforts of past and present governments in re-establishing the image of Indian globally as a developed nation, not only in terms of its economy but also its rich culture and heritage. Media has played an indispensable role in highlighting Indian achievements in the field of science, technology and arts across the world. So media is playing a very important role in portraying or advertising India as a brand in terms of leaders in technology, science, tourism and so on. However, unfortunately, India is still tagged as a developing nation in spite of its vast achievements. In this scenario, the media has a great role to play by addressing the social, cultural, economic problem that is still pulling India down to the category of developing nation. So again, media has a huge role to play in depicting a positive image in terms of our social, cultural and economic problems. Today, media needs to cover more of the social and cultural as well as the health related issues so that it contributes positively in the development and well-being of the people. 
and should strictly refrain itself from portraying the regressive ideologies and thoughts that make take India a step backward to the dark ages. During these COVID times also media is playing a very very important role in terms of promoting the health infrastructure of India. Media, art or literature in our country today must be to help people to reform their thoughts by giving its rational outlook and help the population to develop a questioning mindset. Today media has become a very important part of our life and we totally depend on the media for all the daily news and views. It is a tool for the transfer of information, concepts and ideas to the audience. The readers, listeners or viewers, the increasing pace of development in media due to the constant contribution of the modern technology has made broadcasting of news an easy affair, thus having created a huge opportunity for the media to play an outstanding role in strengthening the society, the culture, the technology aspect, the science aspect, thus promoting our country. So let's sum up. We discussed about the media in India, its importance, its significance, its types, roles. We also talked about the Press Council of India and how Press Council of India has a huge role to play in terms of the overall development of Indian culture and how media has to play a very, very vital role in terms of developing Indian system, science, technology, culture and tourism. In a democratic society like India, media plays a very, very important role in all spheres of life. It at times helps in initiating and conducting debates on important issues affecting society, thus creating a positive mindset on the Indian society in terms of how India is going forward in terms of technology, science and so on. In a country like ours where government has a lot of say in these issues related to culture, media, establish a dialogue between the state and the people. Thank you very much.